spots. Pronax here in the corner. Takes him down. Turns around for the 180. Still 15 bullets left. Primer conscious. And are you kidding? It's going to be a double. He's done it again and again and again. Hello and welcome back to the ESPN Amateur Hour. My name's Tommy. And I'm Johnny. And welcome to Counter-Strike Global Offensive. That's right, Tommy. We've got a bit of an amateur game view here today, folks. We're going to see if there are any rising stars among the ranks. It's a high-pressure situation. Let's see how they perform. Well, I'm as excited as you are, John. And it looks like we're going off to a bit of a cracking start here. The terrorists charging towards that A site. Let's see if Pan Zek and his body wazers up will be able to handle this push. Well, anything can happen on an eco round, Tommy, and it looks like both the CTs are playing pretty close to that red container. Squiggle gonna search for a frag, and he does indeed find one on Waters up. Frizz can't pick him up on Panzek, and Ella finishes off Michael. Absolutely stunning play. A really solid round here from the T side, and it's now just Quinta left in a 1v5 situation. The bomb has gone down, and time is ticking. What's he gonna do? He's got a P250 here. He's trying to clear all these angles. Oh, he sees them. Oh, but he's missing the shots, and he will get taken down there by Bunny. Wow. What a solid round there from the T side. The CTs seem thoroughly unprepared for that level of aggression, Tom. It'd be interesting to see if the T's keep up that pressure or if they go for a more passive approach from now on. That's right, John. And it looks like we're actually going to see a half buy for the CTs here. A strategy we're seeing more and more at the top level of Counter-Strike, where they have armor on two players and a glass cannon Nova on another. Let's see if they can bounce back into this game. Yes, and the T's look like they're going to be heading over to the B side here, exactly where Pansek is waiting with his Nova shotgun in hand. Let's see if he can handle this push. Well, John, the T's will be pushing in any minute, and Pansek is waiting for him with the Nova. He's going for a close angle here. Ella going to peek him, and he is... Oh, it looks like Ella is going to take him, and Pansek does fall down. The CTs have just lost the only secret weapon that they had. Truly unfortunate circumstances there for the CTs. It's going to be a really tough retake for them. Four on five here with only pistols in hand. Quinta trying to pick that vent there, but he just can't seem to make anything happen. He's going to pick again, and he does fall down. It's all down to Wazza's up, Michael, and Gigo to retake the site. Right you are, John, and I'm going to be honest, I don't see them doing this. I mean, it's a 3v5 situation. All of them with armor, all of them with SMGs. I, I don't see it happening. Jeff picks up Gigo, Wazza's up with a return kill on Bunny. But however, it is still a 4v2, and they are just going to, looks like they're going to try and just go for a couple of exit frags here. Michael gets taken down, and Wazza's up follows him. A really good round there for the T's. That tactical half iron not quite working out for the CT side this round, Tommy. Looks like they might just go for a full eco this round as the economy is a little bit dodgy. The T's probably going to pick up an AK or two and just storm into another site. That's right, and it looks like the uh, T side is going to be picking up another round here unless the CT's can pull off something truly spectacular. The T's looking really strong right now as they're just storming in there getting these frags. The CT's can hardly return any kills. Well, let's not count them out of the fight yet, Tom. They still have a shot, even on this eco round, to do something spectacular. We've seen them do it before. Can they do it again? Michael trying to take the fight at mid here with the USP on hand. Does get taken down by the nade there by Squiggly, and the T's will be storming into middle. That's right, John, and the T's have done it again. They got that opening frag. However, Quinter is doing a sneaky beaky play, and it looks like he's going to get a free kill here. Oh, and he gets the dink. Oh, he just can't follow it up, John. And oh my goodness gracious me, if they murder him now, and they do pick him up, Quinta is going to be thinking about that as he falls to sleep at night. It may have been the deciding factor of this round. Well, rest assured, Tom, it will be on Reddit by the end of the night. That was just a completely embarrassing play there by the young Swede. Let's see if he can redeem himself later on in the game. Well, John Pantic has just picked up a frag on the Squiggle, got himself an MP7. He's going to peek connector here, but Jeff will take him down with the Mac 10 ending round three in the favor of the terrorists. Well, unfortunately, that is all the time we have for you folks here today at the ESPN commentary booth. We hope you enjoyed this Counter-Strike amateur match. Keep an eye on these players. You may see them in the Pro League someday. That's right, John. And if you are interested in following these players, make sure you follow us on Twitter at ESPN CSGO. I've been Tommy. And I'm Johnny. And this has been the ESPN Amateur Hour.